So this is the lobster Haldor under the, on the table under the pretty lights and uh, just showing you all that it's all of its twinness and uh, you can kind of see you know the side cut depth and its profile and how it looks when a nice light shining on it instead of um, you know in my living room after a few drinks under some uh, different lighting conditions but um, here's the fun part take a look at this uh, you've got just so much camber right but then look nothing's touching it basically just this full bowl of bow of camber just kind of comes out and doesn't come back down it seems like but then you press down and you feel that and that's because if you turn it over um, you might be able to see this uh, kind of a reverse table thing you can see how it just tapers up and it really rises up high and then comes down to the middle um, which is kind of crazy um, and let me give you a look this way which is uh, way more interesting you can just see how much bend there is at the sides and then there's those little indentions too at the front and it's really a um, unique camber profile and like we said above it comes with a learning curve but once you get to know it and to, for us pressuring our feet in here as you you know flex that camber down and push it down and in uh, that felt to help us that helped us turn the board a little better but you know that might not work for you you might have to find out a different way to turn it but it definitely feels weird at first and comes with a learning curve now let's talk about waist width. Um, so many people want to know, okay, as opposed to the waist width, what's it doing over the inserts foot wise? So they can kind of compare that against their boot footprint. And on the back here, you're looking at about 26.8. And on the front, you're looking at about 26.1, 26.2. And it's going to be the same up there. Um, now, if you want to set it back on board, this isn't a board you really do that with. It's a, it's a twin. Um, there are other lobster boards that are much more directional, have much more setback on board that are going to do you much better um, if you like to set it back in powder. But if, you're a, um, if you like to take it centered and ride switch in powder, this is right up there with some of the floatiest twins just in the little bit of corn we rode. It was just unbelievable. Um, I'd love to see what this does in powder uh, for a twin. Um, it seems really fun. Set all the way back. You're looking at 22.5-ish. Kind of between 22 and 3 quarters and 22.5. Um, you know, with the stance width with traditional disc bindings, you can go a little further back with like the Haldor mini disc bindings. But then the difference between nose to here and tail to here on traditional bindings um, is I think two and a quarter. Um, so that makes it 1.125 back on board, which isn't much. So it's not a board you really go for directional float with. It's something you ride centered. Um, and looking at the base, we talked about this a little bit before. You can feel the die cut. Um, they're definitely, you know, this guy's throwing it. So they're definitely trying to show, um, trying to show the brand when they throw, um, the throw and show um, and tell. So it's not ideal. Um, all that die cut, but it's got a good glide to it. And this, this, um, you know, held the wax. Uh, I didn't wax it, um, but the wax retention is really good. Um, you know, this is a shop guy's nightmare, though. Um, just all this, you know, triple base technology all over this. It's very hard to tune very difficult to base grind, very even just kind of difficult to wax and scrape. Um, but man, it has got so much pop and it's so forgiving um, that um, it might be worth the hassle. Uh, and you know, if you can deal with the learning curve, 
could be a good time. Uh, we had a good time after getting to know this and it was really great doing this outside of a demo and just taking our time with it, going out every day um, with battalion and lobster boards with all this TBT going on and learning about it. It was really fun.